Hi friends! Um, today we are going to do one of my projects that I have been needing to do for a few days now. Um, it all started when I pulled out this, which is a crochet blanket that I am working on and I couldn't find the hook to go with it. So I didn't know whether I knew what the right size hook was, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I am going to make a roll for my crochet hooks so that I know where they all are all the time. So if you're anything like me and you have things lying around everywhere and you want to make a crochet hook roll up, then let's get started. First thing we're gonna need is a fabric for the outer fabric. And this one is the We Wonder by Sarah Jane for Michael Miller Fabrics. And then you're going to need a fabric for the inside. And I have chosen this one here, which is a Modern Background Colour Box by Bridget Heitland for Zen Chic. And then you'll need a pocket fabric for the pockets to hold your crochet hooks. And I've just used a homespun for that. You'll need some batting scrap to fit in there and you will need a ribbon for the tie. Okay, so I'm actually going to put um, the instructions for what I do and all the measurements in the description box. But um, as I go along, I'll let you know as well. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is lay out the main body piece that's going on the inside of your roll. And you're going to lay it down you're going to get your batting scrap and you're going to lay it onto that like so let's get these together and so these pieces are 12 by 20 so 12 by 20 and what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to mark along in one inch intervals, and I'm going to put a line. Need a bit more room. Okay, so one inch. I'm just doing this in pencil. So now you just need to be quilting some straight lines through there. Now you can put a walking foot on your machine, but I am actually going to be lazy and I'm not going to use a walking foot for this. Okay, now that we've quilted the inside of our main piece, we want to square this up so it's the same size as the outside main piece. So we're going to square it up to be 11 and a half by 19 and a half. Okay, so with your fabric for the pocket, you want to fold the pocket fabric in half lengthways like this. And you're going to just iron a crease here and then top stitch along the folded edge. Okay, so I'm going to get out my quilted panel again and my top stitch pocket and I'm going to lay that on top of my quilted panel and I am going to baste 
around the very edge within the seam line. And then I am actually going to follow these quilting lines and make some pockets running down. So you can mark those if you want, or you can just eyeball it like I'm going to and follow those lines all the way down from the quilting lines. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is baste around the edge and that's just gonna stop the pocket from moving around when I do make the little quilting lines to make the separations. So I'm just going to, along the very edge, do a basting stitch. So I've still got it on 2.8 at this stage. Now that that's basted I'm going to just follow my quilting lines down and that's going to create little pockets so we'll start at the top and we will need to back stitch for each of these and just follow that all the way down Repeat, repeat. Okay, so once you've quilted your little pockets, which they are gonna be great, um, the next thing you need to do is put on your tie. So I have cut a length of ribbon and my ribbon is about 40 inches long. Um, what I'm going to do is pinch that in half and I'm actually going to See if you can see that. I'm actually going to sew over this end just here and then we're going to just make sure that we tuck this on the inside for the next step. So let me just go stitch this on and I'll be right back. Okay so I've done a little back and forth stitch on my edge of my ribbon and I am just going to make sure that this ribbon is all on the inside here. The next thing I want to do is take my outside fabric and we're going to lay that over top, just like this, of our panel. And I'm going to get my trusty Wonder Clips. And we are going to clip that around because we're going to sew a quarter inch seam around the whole wrap, except for we're going to leave about four inches of a turning gap. So we don't want to be sewing between our pins and I've left my turning gap at the bottom, but we do want to sew a quarter inch seam around the rest of the bag. Okay, so I'm gonna start sewing at one of my pins for my opening. I'm going to make sure that I've reduced my stitch length back down so that it's not still on the 2.8. So I've now got it on 2.2. And we're going to start with a bit of a back stitch. And so a quarter of an inch around the whole bag.
once we get to the other pin, we can do our back stitch. Okay, so we've sewn all the way around the outside edge and we've left our turning gap. We can get rid of those pins now. And what we're going to do is with a pair of scissors, we are just going to trim the corners near the stitches, but not on the stitches, just to help us get some nicer corners when we turn through. And then we can pull our wrap through. Okay, so the next step is going to be to top stitch. So to make that easier, it's a good idea to actually press your bag with an iron just into shape. And it will help you to fold these corners in and press them as well. So we're going to now top stitch around the outside of our wrap, an eighth of an inch around the edge. Okay, so I'm back at the machine and I'm going to top stitch my edge here. So if I roll it out with my fingers, get it all lined up to how I want it, slide it under the presser foot, and we are going to just do a straight stitch all the way around that top edge. crochet hooks fit in lovely and now all we need to do is roll it up and we use our ribbons to tie it off so here we have our finished wrap how cute is that no more losing crochet hooks because they will all be in one safe place. So hopefully you give this a go at home. It was very easy to do. It took next to no time, very beginner friendly and so super useful. So no more missing crochet hooks for me.